Welcome back to my video, guys. My channel. Welcome back to my channel, actually. I don't have enough videos to say. Welcome back to my videos. So, welcome back to my channel. It's super early in the morning. You can see, like, the sun isn't even up. I'm actually trying to get ready for my day. But I've been dying to get this video out for you guys. Or at least I said in my last video... I said, be tuned for my next video on how I have multiple incomes. And that video still isn't out. <laughs> and I'm like feeling like I never have enough time to sit down and record, which is, I'm going to get into that a little bit later. On why I'm so damn busy. But I got up today and I said, I'm going to record this video on my income, my income journey, my financial journey, and give you guys a little bit of overview on really where I want to take this channel because obviously it's hard for me to sit down and do just talk. That's why I really said in my last video, I really wanted to turn this channel. I really want to turn this channel into a vlog channel because that's just easier for me. I'm just too busy to sit sit here and do these videos but for this particular video i am gonna sit down i'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys so i'm gonna finish getting ready and we're gonna get into the video on my financial journey um how i have several sources of income at 22 without using YouTube, obviously, as one of them. I'm going to be giving my tips and tricks on how to be smart with money, manage your money, have good credit, build generational wealth for yourself, and just be a lot more sound with money at a young age so that in the future you're set. So let me hear you up. Let me hear you up and finish getting ready so we can get into this video, guys. So I wanted to sit down with you guys and make a video on my specific um, financial journey with money, how I was able to acquire several different sources of income, but more importantly, my tips on being smart and managing your money at such a young age and making decisions now that for in the future will set you up for um, just, just a better future for yourself and give you more, I feel like, generational wealth. A lot of people don't know this about me, don't know how sound I am with money, um, and how much advice I have for people that are young, making a good income, and just really, um, living a life at a young age or making decisions, more importantly, at a young age is going to set you up for the future. Even though I like to say that I've always been kind of good with money, like I've never been the type of person to want to spend a bunch of money. I think my managing man my money managing skills came in for me at a young age. So I started working back in high school. I actually started working as like um a family CNA. So like it was a family like I knew them so it was like under the table pay I wasn't getting like direct deposit I was kind of just getting cash weekly um without being taxed so that's like constant cash for me so I started doing that back in high school um without really having any real bills so I'm just saving and saving like I said I've never been the person to really want to just spend unnecessarily in high school though I was living with just me and my dad so it was just us living and at that time i started taking on a lot of the financial responsibilities not with my own money but kind of learning how to manage the money for certain things in the house so like grocery shopping or like bills or anything with the house i was doing it so he would give me a lump sum of money and i would go divvy out how it would be best used for us in that time period so at that age i'm learning how to really manage money or make the most out of whatever i was giving because like i said i wasn't using my money i was just using the money i was given so at this point i'm going on to college i'm having to leave the cna job to go to college and I don't know about you guys, but when you start bringing in your own income, you never really want to stop. You know how that money looks coming in, so you want to keep it coming in. So going into college, I still had no bills, but I still wanted to work. And that's when I got into serving, which to me is a lot like the CNA job. And those have really been my only two jobs, I would say, like where I'm trading in my time for money. So 
it reminded me a lot of the CNA job in terms of not really being a serving as hustle, it's under the table, it's quick, quick cash at all times. So that's what I got accustomed to at that point. Again, not having bills, but saving and saving and saving, still getting this concept of saving. I will say this about saving since I've hit on it so many times already, and I've heard this a lot. Saving does not make you rich. Saving really doesn't make you a lot of money. If you look at your bank savings account, like interest rate, the amount of money that you're going to make just saving money isn't enough for that to be just what you do. You have to be smart with your money and really either make smart decisions with the money you're moving or make smart decisions with the money that's sitting and invested in something. Now, what a savings does do is gives you a cushion because I strongly feel like and this is one of my tips one of your incomes if not your main source of income needs to be something that you enjoy it really doesn't need to be a nine to five clocking job or um or, but it can be it can be if that's something that you're passionate about but I feel like your main main source of income needs to be something that you're passionate about and I feel like it's hard for people to do that at a young age. So for me, working so hard and saving so much was able to give me a cushion to maybe quit. And I'm going to get into that because I actually recently put in, um, I have two full-time jobs right now. I actually put in my two weeks at one of them because it's I have enough cushion to now be able to trade in my time and get some of my time back do things that i enjoy doing bring in another source of income for myself i'm going to get go over a little bit on how i was able to acquire my specific streams of income so like i've said i've worked a lot as as i'm not gonna say as a young person because i'm still young like i said i'm only 22 and i've only really been working since i was 17 but I work, I have a great work ethic. I work hard and I work a lot. And I'm not afraid to work, I guess, that typical. Even though I didn't have a typical 9 to 5 job, I don't mind working a lot up front. Now, with that being said, I was working a lot and I was saving a lot. So, eventually, like I did have um, a lump sum saved, which helped me, even though that's a source of income, you know, me trading in my time is very good and very essential, very necessary even to have passive income. Passive income is money that's making money without you trading in your time or really doing anything. So things like investing. And that's something that I've really started to do with the money that I fronted on my own from working so hard. So I know a lot of people want to be on this come up just all in one without really the hard work but for me the hard work really set me up for a better come up i'm able to now have such a great savings like i said savings saving doesn't um saving doesn't make you rich or saving doesn't um it's not a it's not a source of income to me like i know people like to say it is because you're creating a little bit of interest per year but to me it's not really a source of income but what it is is a cushion for you so for me i can now maybe stop those nine to fives because i have that cushion and go into something that i want to do making money or having the work ethic to make money and set yourself up is important but what you actually do with that money is probably even more important so i'm gonna hit on three um things that i hold myself to when it comes to making smart financial decisions and not um spinning on a splur things that help me just rein in on my finances so tip one is and i know this sounds so crazy and outlandish for some people but for me it's like my number one rule and something that i do every single time consistently and it never makes me feel like i have a debt in my pocket so if i have something that's a big big finance something that's a grand or two or whatever i always try to make it over before i spend it and i only really do that with big purchases something that i feel like could you know um you know you would notice it in your account and just so 
it's not a stress off your back or anything like that. And I feel like it's just responsible for you not to spend something that you're not ready to spend. If you've made it over again, then it's almost like a treat to yourself. Okay, let me go ahead and spend it. Which brings me to my second point with being okay and saying no and not going places where your budget isn't set up for. Or even if it is, you know that it's okay to say no to that because you're setting yourself up for something more important in the future. And I'm really big on that. As much as I could go on shopping sprees, even though I am saving up for one big 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 old shopping spree you don't see me um normally going around and buying new clothes or new shoes as much as i could or going on the vacations and things like that as much as i could because to me those aren't things that those are things actually that i can refrain from right now to better set myself up or even to stick to the goals that i have set for myself which is tip three if you have a goal or have made a financial goal for yourself, block out all distractions and stay to that goal. So for me, I make big goals of at the age of 22 already saving for a house. So I have a set amount of set amount that I'm going to set aside monthly um for my future house. It's important for me to pay things off now. So I've paid one car off. I'm working on paying another car off. Paying things off at this age or saving up for bigger things in the future. So houses and cars or savings accounts are more important for me individually. And it's helped me make my financial decisions going forward and really stay on track financially. If you take some of these tips, apply these to some of your financial decisions, just move differently. You guys, at a young age, like, this is the best time to be smart with your money. You know, especially, like, you don't have any big, for me, I don't have any kids or anything like that. So, it's so easy for me to move where I want to move and set myself up now i promise like somebody once told me live modest right now so that you can live your type of lifestyle it's okay to not live the best and have all the best right now your pockets are probably the best though your pockets are probably sitting a lot better than the person next to you who you know you feel like is living this lavish lifestyle and that's how i feel for myself you might not can see it from what i portray but that's okay that's okay because that that's not what I'm doing it for. I'm doing it to set myself up. So I really hope you guys take some of these tips. I really also hope you guys stay on this journey with me because like I said, I don't really want to do these sit down videos. It's just not me. And like I said, I'm busy. I really want to turn this into a vlog channel and take you guys actually physically with me, which is really what I think I'm going to do next. It's kind of give you a day in the life of me currently working so much, starting my master's in like two weeks. My sister, y'all, she's about to pop. Um, so I just am too busy getting things ready and doing things, working on my incomes five and six. So I really hope you guys stay on this journey with me, learn more, really get more tips on how I'm living life at 22, guys. So please, if you're interested in my journey, if you want to stay tuned in with me on my journey, please subscribe, guys. Comment down. Um, things that you want to see. Like I said, I think my next video is going to be a vlog in my day-to-day -day life just so you guys can get a little glimpse of that. But if you guys have other advice on video ideas that you want to see, please, please write them in my comments. Hit the like button on the way out of this video or before you come in this video. Hit the like button, guys. Please subscribe and leave me a comment. Stay tuned for my next video.